So recently I did a sermon on prayer and looking kind of in Acts, the early church and the way that they were praying and that made me think about, um, especially if you're brand new to the faith, how do you pray? I remember going back in my early uh, journey as a Christian, I really struggled. How do you pray? There wasn't like real practical tips and people really guiding me through on, on how to grow in this area. And yet prayer is such an important part of our Christian journey. It is the way that we communicate with God. And it's more than just us communicating to God, but it's also learning in our prayer time to just to be quiet and to really hear from God as well. He really values that time. There's a partnership that happens when we come to the Father. And so I want to share with you four practical, easy tips that I pray and I know will be helpful for you in your uh, prayer life. So tip number one, know who you pray to. And you are praying to our Heavenly Father. Jesus teaches us in uh, the Lord's Prayer. You can find that in Matthew chapter 6 in verse, one, uh, or in verse 9. Um, Jesus shares with us this. He's teaching His disciples. He says, um, this then is how you should pray, our Father in heaven. You and I can approach God as Heavenly Father. In the same way, in a sense, as you approach your, your earthly dad, we can approach God. It doesn't need to be weird. It doesn't need to be religious. There's a relationship there. Um, and, and you will have to just kind of grow into your relationship, knowing that your Father is good he wants to have that um, communication with you so i know this is kind of a tricky subject for some of you as you think about your your earthly dad and you just can't relate or maybe your dad was abusive you have to study god's word and you have to know that god is for you you cannot compare um, your earthly father with your heavenly father uh, there, there is no comparison our heavenly father is good and he is the the giver of great gifts he is love so in your prayer time you're really going to learn how to have good communication with your heavenly father and more importantly you're going to learn how to become quiet as well, to become kind of just still so that you can hear from God because God wants to speak to you in those quiet moments as well through His Holy Spirit and through His Word. And so as you learn how to pray, I want to encourage you, take some time to just kind of be still as well and, and really kind of tune in to that small, still voice in how God is communicating with you. He wants to communicate with you. Tip number two, find a good, quiet, comfortable place to pray. Quiet is kind of essential. That will really help you to just to be in the moment, to only focus on your prayer time, in your communication with God. Um, it is really difficult to pray when there's all kinds of distractions and noises. And for me, a lot of times, it's the office. Um, I come in early before my staff is here and before the phones start to ring. And that just creates a space for me where I can pray and, and read God's Word. Again, when I was younger, uh, in my walk with God, I thought you know, can only pray on Sunday morning when you're in the sanctuary. Uh, and that is not true. We are invited to pray all the time any place. Jesus is reminding us of this truth in John chapter 4 um, that there's going to be a day and that day is now where we as believers can pray any place. We don't need a special place. Uh, at least for the Samaritan women they needed to go to synagogues or to Jerusalem to the temple um, but we have the Holy Spirit and because of the work that Jesus has done on the cross for us we have direct access to the Father through Jesus. And so find a good, comfortable, quiet place. My next step is 
schedule your prayer time, put it on your calendar so that you can see it every day and you can be intentional about that time. Maybe it's early in the morning, maybe it's late at night, whatever works for your schedule, but I just want you to see it and I want you to be intentional about it. It takes about 21 days to build healthy habits. So this is gonna take a little bit, but stick to it every day at that particular time. And as you grow in that, that's gonna become more and more part of your life. Um, and then you will be able to pray throughout the day, but at least you have that um, base that you're working from uh, because you see it on your calendar. Tip number four is this. You don't need fancy words to impress God. Um, he constantly reminds us in His Word that we need to come as little children. And so uh, let your prayer be authentic. Share with Him your emotions, what you're thinking, um, some of the stuff that you're going through in that moment. Uh, there's a lot of examples in Scripture about people's authentic, honest prayer. Sometimes they're really mad at God. And you know what? God is big enough um, to handle your prayers. And so be real. So tip number four, you don't need to have fancy words to impress God in your prayer time. Be real. Be honest. Be authentic. Um, he already knows. And Scripture is full of wonderful, powerful prayers of people that actually really mad or they're frustrated, God is big enough to hear and handle your disappointments and your authentic prayers. Share that with Him. Don't try and fake it. Something that was really helpful for me in my early days in my faith was to go to prayer meetings, to sit with people that have uh, been in a relationship with God for a long time and just to listen how they pray. And that really helped me. And that gave me the confidence in my prayer. And really want to encourage you as you mature in your faith, be part of your church, go to prayer meetings where you can learn how to pray out loud as well. So again, our prayer time is not there to impress um, your friends or people in the church or your pastor. It is an opportunity to communicate with our Heavenly Father and for Him to communicate with you as well.